Hello sewing people of the internet. In this video I'm going to bring you five sewing gift ideas for the upcoming holiday season, plus one bonus suggestion that has some conditions attached to it. Uh, and I'll just say up front, if you want to skip my usual preamble and caveats, then there is a chapter list down below. You can skip around to whatever you like. I'll list these items in order of monetary value from the very inexpensive to the extravagant. Hopefully you'll find something appropriate for the sewing guy or whoever uh, in your life, or maybe something you want for yourself. Before I get started, some people are going to be mad if I call these Christmas gifts, and some people are going to be mad if I don't call them Christmas gifts, and I think all of those people are wrong. So uh, I may refer to these as Christmas gifts because I live in the United States and I'm steeped in the culture of the Christmas season. Uh, and I may also refer to them as holiday gifts because I'm aware that there are many other holidays that are celebrated around the same time. Uh, that involve giving gifts to your friends and loved ones. So I'm just going to say whatever rolls off my tongue and uh, you can apply it to whatever holiday works best for you. Okay, now that most of you have clicked away, let's get started with the list. By the way, this list came about because I was uh, contacted by someone writing an article about sewing gifts for uh, people who like to sew and they wanted my kind of different perspective on it, being a guy who sews and you know orients my videos mostly around uh, guy-oriented stuff. I did a whole video on what I mean by that. If you're not uh, sure, just click the link right up here and you can check it out. Anyway, uh, so I like the idea and I thought I would turn it into a video. And uh, so here's the things I suggested with a couple of additional items. Item number one is my stocking stuffer suggestion, and that's seam rippers. And in particular, I like these industrial style seam rippers. I got these as part of a package of stuff I bought from a seller on Craigslist. So uh, I did find a link to a supplier that you can buy these from. I've never purchased from that company. And if you find a better option or whatever, then by all means, check it out. I'm not affiliated with that link in any way, uh, but they do carry these. And I do like these particular seam rippers. And I have a bunch of these and I have a bunch of sewing machines. So usually I just have them kind of scattered all over and I can just find one quickly. Uh, but even if you only want to have one or two, they have a nice long handle so you can get a good purchase on the handle. Uh, and they've held up well under a lot of use. So I, I think this is a good choice. A lot of sewing machines come with a really cheap little seam ripper. They can be really frustrating and even dangerous to use because you don't have anything really to hold on to. So my first suggestion is some good quality industrial large size seam rippers. Moving just slightly up in cost, uh, my next suggestion is a completely shameless plug for an I Love Power Tools coffee mug or a So Hard sticker, maybe a Power Tools sticker. I think I do something else with the Power Tools logo on it. I can't remember what it is though. But anyway, uh, all kidding aside, even if you don't want to buy any of my stuff, I know I don't have a great merchandise selection. People like Alexander Dyer or maybe another YouTuber that you follow sell merchandise. And that's a great way to support the YouTubers that you enjoy watching and also get a cool gift for uh, the sewing fan in your life. So uh, that's a cool gift. Uh, I know I would enjoy getting something like that. Uh, my Alexander Dyer t-shirt is one of my favorite shirts. So. My third gift suggestion is custom printed fabric. This is a little bit particular because you would need to know that the fabric is something that the person you're buying for wants, both the actual fabric itself and also the print made with it. But you can do amazing things now. Uh, I get mine printed from Ripstop by the Roll. Uh, I have a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so I do make money from sending your business to them. Uh, but it doesn't cost you any extra, and I wouldn't do it if I didn't love their stuff. I buy a fair amount of stuff from them now. So uh, if you have a special, you know, design, photo, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. Uh, I've done some prints of some custom paintings that I did, so I have truly unique fabric that no one else can have. Maybe they don't want it, but it's still unique. So I think that's a really great personalized option if you if you really know the person you're purchasing for and know it's something that they're going to use uh, or you can extract some hints from them. Uh, that might be a really interesting and unique gift. People with real YouTube channels often do commercial spots within the video 
And uh, while I am not a real YouTuber, I am going to take this opportunity to sponsor my own video and give you a 30 second or so spiel for my other YouTube channel. Uh, I'd really like it if you would check it out. It's called The Jason Wins. And what I do over there is kind of all the other stuff I do when I'm not sewing. I live in Florida. I have a passion for sharing things that are a little bit beyond the beaches that most people know about Florida. Going out in the swamps to ride bicycles and seeing alligators, paddle boarding in the Keys, picking up trash. And uh, it's a good way for me to share both my passion for other things besides sewing, and often it incorporates things that I've sewn, so you might get to see uh, an item that I've used that you're thinking about making actually being used and see how it holds up. So uh, if uh, all of you run out and subscribe to that channel, it'll put me one step closer to getting my second Lamborghini. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd check it out. And if you like it, subscribe. If you don't, that's cool too. Thanks. Okay, so item number four on my list of suggestions for gifts for the person in your life who likes to sew in a manly way is probably the one that would be the only one if I had to pick just one. And that's my Mundial 8-inch utility shears. These things are indispensable to me. I made a Kydex sheath for mine. Uh, I did a video on how I made the prior version of this thing, so uh, I'll put a link up there. Um, but uh, I keep this on my belt the entire time whenever I'm sewing in my shop, and I use them for almost everything. These are not ideal for cutting out patterns. You want a bent shear like these Wiss W20s for laying on a table to cut patterns. Other than that, I use these for everything. And occasionally, because they happen to be on me, I'll use these for cutting out patterns if it's something small. But for snipping thread ends, for trimming seams, uh, just you know, making adjustments, whatever I need to cut, these things are up to the task. And because the pivot point is so far from the ends of the handles, as opposed to on your traditional shears, it, I'm trying to get this where you can see it, you get quite a bit of leverage with this style of shear. I learned about these when I worked in a shop that made leather bags. Love these things. Uh, the last I looked, they were about $40. I have an Amazon link. It's an affiliate link again, so you will be uh, helping me make a little bit of extra cash and buy that second Lamborghini if you use that link. Um, but uh, wherever you get them, these are fantastic. I love them. When I was approached for uh, the article, I was told that uh, the gift suggestions could range from the, the least expensive to any extravagant limit that I wanted. So this is the big ticket item, and that is, no surprise to most of you, the Sailorite LSZ-1 with Worker B. If you have someone in your life who is looking for the, the best sewing machine for sewing, heavy-duty materials, but still a portable machine that you can use at home or take from place to place, that's the machine. I'm not going to belabor the point here. I've made several videos about how much I like those machines, so I will direct you to the link over here in the corner for you to check out videos if you're not familiar with the machine. Obviously, if one were to buy that as a gift for someone in their life, A, they better really like that person, and B, really want to know that that's the kind of machine that that they need. If the person you're buying a sewing machine for is interested in you know, what I would call more traditional sewing with lighter weight fabrics and doesn't do a lot of heavy duty stuff, maybe it's not the right choice. It can definitely do that, but it, you know, there's other machines that might do it better. So uh, you know, there, there's caveats with this gift suggestion, but if you wanted to make me happy, <laughs> I'll take an LSZ one with Worker B. I already have one, but I'll take another. So the last item, I didn't really put it on the list, but I wanted to leave it in as kind of a bonus. And, and that's a sewing kit. A lot of places, uh, Ripped Up by the Roll is one, have kits that you can make for, you know, stuff sacks or fanny packs or things like that. Those are a great way to learn about sewing or to try something that maybe you haven't figured out how to make yourself yet and you want to get your feet wet or just to make a useful project. But... It can also, to me at least, can be a little bit like giving someone an assignment that maybe they didn't want. So I would say if you know that the person you are buying for 
is looking for that kind of project or a particular thing or you know they ask for it uh, that can be a great gift i wouldn't necessarily think oh joe likes sewing let me get him this kit because joe may not want to sew that particular item and then may feel like he has to because you gave him a gift and eh. so i would just make sure you know what the person you're shopping for wants before buying something like a kit Anyway, that's my list of Christmas slash holiday gift suggestions for the upcoming holiday season or anytime you want to give someone a gift that you know and you know they're into sewing. Uh, these gift suggestions are kind of oriented at kind of my corner of the sewing universe, sewing more utilitary and manly uh, items. but. You could definitely find application for these things in any sewing uh, pursuit. If you have questions, post them in the comment section below. If you click some of the links below, that helps me out. I appreciate it. Clicking like is also a great way to help me out. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love it if you consider subscribing to my channel. And please check out my second channel. I'll put a video at the end of this video that you can click on to get an idea of what it's like. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And, uh, you know, fill in the blank. There's too many holidays for me to start naming them all. Uh, but uh, I hope you have a safe and enjoyable and pleasant holiday season. Thanks for watching. For those of you who were waiting for Bobbin to make an appearance since I'm filming here at the house, uh, he walked into the room once and left. Sorry, but uh, he's the star here and I can't tell him what to do. Maybe next time.